What's holding you back in life? Sometimes Anything. we have obstacles in life that we don't even know are our stumbling blocks. So here to help us identify our challenges and also help us to overcome them, we have peak performance strategist, Sir Charles Carey. Welcome back to Great Day. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for having Good me. To Good to see, see you again. again. Yes, yeah. yes. So a lot of times we are trying to get things done mm -hmm. and we keep not reaching our goal, but we don't really know why. Why is it so hard? I'll be to honest with goals? you. Everyone has a different reason for something holding them back, and I say we're all products of our environment, mm -hmm. and that's basically the answer. So if you come from an impoverished environment or if you come from an environment without a lot of mental stimulation, a lot of those are factors for why we can't see ourselves making the end result a reality. Mm -hmm. So that's it in the long and short. Now, there are yeah. sub-purposes uh, and problems that go along with that, you know, the way you yeah. see yourself, mm -hmm. things that may be... Uh, uh, you've experienced that made you afraid or uncertain so all right so you're talking about the perception of ourselves right Absolutely. or the perception we think people see in ourselves as yes. well and that's one of the yeah. ways to overcome the yeah. obstacles as well you have to be able to see yourself for who you really are and i know the biggest thing is knowing what you're here for so how do i know what i'm here for sometimes mm -hmm. people undervalue being quiet being still because the answers mm -hmm. come to us many times when we're just being still, right. being quiet, allowing the information, the answers to come to you, the answers to your prayers, or maybe just uh, an occurrence, an epiphany. Right. We and also we talk about going, going, yeah. going. I know you're yeah. really big into meditation and something that for 2020 a lot of people are focusing on, but just blocking everything out yeah. and just having moments. the answers come to you. Absolutely. Part of what you talk right. about how to look at things differently is your self inventory as yes. well. How do you do that? What, what does that mean to, to look at your self inventory differently? Well, you know, I have, in one of my books, I, I write about critical in depth analysis. And I am a coach, however, and I'm not against coaches, but I'll just say this sometimes you don't really need a coach. Mm. Sometimes what you need is what I call critical in depth analysis, which means, again, being still, looking at yourself honestly. What is it that I do? What is it that I don't do? Where have I failed? Where haven't I failed? Where's my greatest joy? And you begin to see what it is that's specifically designed for you. And that's what you want to gravitate to. You know, so it's, it's not difficult, but it's just not the norm more way of thinking. Right, yeah. And we talked about those roadblocks. So yes. how do we change those? Well, that's, that's also, it's really easy. We make things more difficult for ourselves than <laughs> they need to be. We do. You want really to <laughs> be around people that, you know, you like. People that are doing the things that you want to do. Mm -hmm. They're going the places that you want to go. And even if they're not or have not arrived, they're on their way there. So you want to hang out with mm -hmm. like-minded individuals. And that's a great uh, tip to help you see who you are, see how to get where you want to be. Yeah. Why is belief so important as well? I know that was kind of one of the last things that we have to look at ourselves differently. Belief in yourself? Yeah. Is There's a song that says, if you believe, right? You have to believe because if you don't think well of yourself, you cannot expect belief to come from the outside source, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, you know, we all have a different gift, a skill, a talent, whatever that ability is. And belief is so critical to what you think in your mind which you truly desire, which you're maybe even afraid to say, uh, for it to happen, for it to, to come to light, for it to show up in any shape, form, or fashion. So you have to believe, you know, even if it's a 10% shot, believe in that 10% that may turn into 20%. You know, anything is possible if you believe, like the song says. I want you to sing again. Just stay here and sing for us, Charles. <laughs> you can take, will you take us out to a break and sing? Sir Charles look, Carey. Look, that was my first love music, I tell you. Yeah. By the way, where can we get your latest book? Oh, uh, You can get the book at the website. My official site is SirCharlesCareyInc.com. Inc.com. Thank you so much Thanks for being for here. Me again. We appreciate Welcome. it. Thank you so Absolutely. much. We'll be back with more great team right after.